Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Today, well, actually it's like yesterday. I went ahead and I did a couple of uh, salvages. I got 51,000 gold um, after spending some on the informant lady over here, which accomplished nothing, I think. Because, like, I bought them all and nothing happened. She doesn't do anything new. Except now I have all this stuff in my inventory, which, you know, is, uh, not great. I did check out some of the stores. I'm debating on actually purchasing some stuff here before returning. Uh, to be fair, none of it seems really, like, useful to me right now. I could just be, well, not that useful, but I'm not sure if I, like, want to spend the money on it. Because I might be getting some more, like, later at a chest or something. Like, this stuff is kind of cool. I got two of those already. But I, I kind of want something that's, like, auto-attack. I think I saw one that was affinity-based, too. Like, it increased the affinity gain. I'm not sure if that means, uh... Really? Mac? What? HP to damage barrier. I don't know what that means. I, I like the idea of it. It sounds like it's a barrier, but I could just be wrong. Uh, yeah, there's some there's some stuff over here. I also did explore a little bit and notice stuff like this Actually, I'm pretty sure I had this on camera, but I did look around and uh, there was some NPCs up on the top top that I talked to and You know nothing too grandeur, but something worth mentions it mentioning Did you have the affinity thing? I think you have the affinity thing. I kind of want to kind of want to like buy two of these because I have the money and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my pouches before we teleport back. Now, how do I do that? I go here and pouch. Right. There you go. I would like you to have this. Yes. Cool. And I also want to give you one as well because why not? I also I gotta I gotta keep an eye out for what these guys like. I don't think those guys like that one. How about Pyra? No, she didn't seem to like any of that. All right, whatever. That's fine. I mean, I, they were expensive. You should like them. God dang it. Okay, let's go to the map. That's not the map. All right, okay. Let's skip travel. We got to come here. Upper right. And we want to be... <laughs> Was this the closest to the town before I backed away? It looks like it might be. That's fine, though. Um, I also noticed something in editing that I want to try out when I get a chance. Uh, Let's rest the spell. Might so, as well try it on this guy here. Let's show him a thing or three. Go get him, Thing Rex. or three. Yeah. Ha. Your attack doesn't yeah. even have a cooldown when you do that, yeah. right? Is it just me? Because I was noticing, because I, I, I get, I get kind of finicky during my fights, and it looked like if I moved afterwards, it would attack faster. There you go, have Aqua. I should probably use some of my skills, right? Because we are actually fighting something, and you know, I don't want to exactly die. Also, this thing's like strong. I'm not sure if that's actually something that's true or if I'm just, like, seeing things differently. It seems like I can just, like, there's no wait time when I move. I don't know. Anyways. It's just something I noticed. I figured I wanted to try, at least on camera. At least now I have actual, like, something I can look at during editing to see if it is actually the case. Stop wasting our time. I won't stop wasting your time. Pretty what sure that was here? offensive. But all right, I gotta, I gotta turn this down a little bit because so. it's actually like screwing my my ears a little bit. There we go. Oh, I got a pansy. I missed the baubles. I wonder if we're gonna get a collectopedia or a collectible compendium at some point. Oh, it's high tide. I did want to kind of go back and check it. The fact that the, the, the Titan thing moves around is 
cool. It is cool. Don't get me wrong. It also reminds me of something, and I don't know what. Not... Well, actually, I guess at the end of the first Xenoblade Chronicles, something like that did happen, right? Maybe not to this grander scale. It's been a while since I played that game, so... I could just be misremembering thing, or... You know... Kind of like imposing right. memories, I guess. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> misremembering is probably more accurate, right? I should have came to this village first last time, but I got so hyped that I could teleport back to the place. I was like, sweet, let's do it. Oh, but crowds so gathering, that's never a good sign. Horrible. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh, don't sound so depressed. Yeah. It's nothing. I like her voice actor, okay, Pyra's. Then. I'll show you to an end. Then I'm out of here. Oh, well, that's sad. I do need to stay at an inn. I got all that party experience, I think, that I could use. Maybe. And by party experience, I think the first four side quests we did. We might be able to get more, so maybe we'll hold off. What is that guy doing over there? He's, like, dancing underneath the the cloth. Tornagoth. For the horde. Hey! Hey! Yeah, no, I saw that. <laughs> what the bloody hell is this? Don't tell me this is meant to be me. Uh, it's it's kind of racist. You're not wrong. To say the least. Oi, did you see some of <laughs> uh, No. I fear they may have conflated our countenances, my lady. How very awful. <laughs> Okay, don't prove them right. Fie! Who has the courage to heed the Empire's call? How much Your pain? strong heart today will build a strong, more ordained tomorrow. Of course, you get more than a salary. Pension and benefits are included. I am in. Distinguish yourself, and you could even join the nobility. For the glory of the Ardanian Empire and His Majesty, Emperor Niall! Come now! Who wants to be the hero of tomorrow? Oh, that's a good title. Hmm. What's the deal over there? Driver recruitment. Driver recruitment? Recently, they've been recruiting drivers from all over. The pool of potentials is ever shrinking. They must have run out of candidates in the military. Because they're dying, or just because they're like getting going extinct? I'm not sure I follow. Just see for yourself. Are, are you gonna explain why you're Don't wanted do here? It, bro, it's too dangerous. What will we do if something happens to you? Who will look after us? But please. I I know it's dangerous, but if I can be. Become a driver. Out of the way, squeak. Go. Ah, this place is gonna be fun. All right, come on, Blade Boy. Oh, show me what you got. <laughs> oh, that does not seem like that's going good. It's... Yeah, he's done for. Indeed. What does that mean? No fight! What a shame! So that guy's just dead? Oh, what just happened? All that blood. It was blue. What's with that? I didn't handle the core crystal's power. That's what happens when someone unqualified touches a core crystal. Truly lamentable. Wait, you need a qualification to be a driver. Perhaps aptitude would be a better word. Aptitude? No! Is there nobody else here ready to test their strength for the I'll do it. I already did it once. Of the Empire. Oh, how about you? What say you? Death Don't do it. You think of your brothers and sister. Don't. Or sisters. Don't I'm not actually sure. Be and then we'll be set for life. You're going to die in front of your family. You know that, Don't right? Do it. Well, goodbye. <laughs> 
There's your aptitude. What does that mean? Oh, I like it. Can I have that? Now I'm gonna abandon you guys and go fight in war. Turn into a weapon. That is how blades are born, Rex. Accurate name, I guess. But when I touch Pyra's, she's a special case. Pyra's the Aegis, remember? So the usual rules don't apply. All that business with sharing her life force—it's not exactly normal. Wait, what does the Aegis even mean? Gin and Malos. They called her that too. Dunno. All I know is that it's some kind of legendary blade. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Let's we go. just messed. We're, we're not no that close sticking yet. Sticking around for the enrollment ceremony and all that boring stuff. I'm not sure if I had this on camera, but when I got nighttime, when I was like doing some of the salvaging and getting some of the collection points, uh, I think it was Naya or Rex was like, "Oh, it's, oh, it's nighttime again." Then all of a sudden, it was like, you, you just hear Pyra going, also, the screen just went dark for a second because I wasn't touching my controller during the cutscene, which is kind of odd. Anyways, yeah, why the hell did it do that? That's never happened before. What I was talking about was it became nighttime and you just hear a Pyra go, and I'm glowing. <laughs> I just thought that was absolutely hilarious. You've arrived in Torgroth, uh, Gormot's largest settlement. So now's a good time to talk about developing towns. Towns in Alres are rated according to their level of development. This is called the development level or dev level for short. A town's development level can be raised by earning dev points. When a town's dev level goes up, they, you can expect the price of goods in shops to go down. Some shops might even expand their ranges and yeah, expand their ranges and sell never before seen products. You can earn dev points by completing quests and resolving residents' difficulties. It's also possible to earn a few dev points just by talking to people you meet. You've gained, uh, you can view the dev level town at any time by going, the time you go shopping by, and also by going to main menu skip travel. As a public, uh, spirited citizen of all rest, you should do all you can to raise the dev levels of settlements. Uh, was I couldn't see that. So that explains why earlier we got dev up in, um, what the hell was it called? It was called the Argentum Trade Guild. Because it's at dev level 2. This one's at dev, dev level 0. So I should talk to everyone before I actually buy anything. Though I don't think I actually bought tanks. Have you been shopping yet? If you make it uh, to a new town, be sure to check out the local merchants. Uh, what the local merchants have to offer. There's a good chance you'll find a, new, a few new products that were previously unavailable to you. You might even want to use skip travel to head back to Argentum and see how the goods here compared to the ones there okay hello what do you have you have well I'm not gonna buy any of this stuff here I did buy some silver ones before coming here that's good to know okay oh yeah I have like a truth buster I got more of these boosters not busters um, though these ones require different uh, consumables not consumables but collectibles so that means that there has to be a salvage point somewhere around here, which I am totally into. Also, I might have actually wasted some time doing salvaging, thinking that uh, and buying some of the salvage tanks like way at the beginning of the game, because I thought that was gonna lower the price at the shop because I was misunderstanding the stars. Go figure. But it explains the development up that I saw earlier. Hello, you have a chalice. That usually means side quest. No. You're just, uh... You sell the collectible item we need for the, the packages over there? Huh. That seems counterintuitive. Especially seeing how they're so freaking expensive. But I guess only needing one, so like, these would actually cost like 2200 This one would only cost, uh, 19... 50, uh, 500. 
yeah, I don't know. We'll see about that. I kind of want to figure out how to use the boosters. Uh, still setting up, of course. I kind of want to do that because I think that's the Pokemon aspect. And these are accessories, which I don't think I need. Increases attack power for Great Axe Weapon. We have to be getting it soon, then, because we have weapon up, like, get grades. No palm mass. Increases aggro every second. Increases aggro reduction by 20%. That's cool. That's something I'd probably want to give to, like, Naya because she's the healer. And this to... I almost called Michelle, but Rex because he's not the healer. No, he is a fighter right now. What do you get for weapon chips? You got tin chips. All right. And then you get the fang chips. I mean, the wing chips would be a good increase, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to buy anything yet. I'm just going to go to the shops and see what's for sale and all that stuff. And there's an informant down here. It's a different informant. Hello. You got new stuff, and they're more more expensive. Uh, I don't think I want to waste the money on this right now. Maybe later. There is a chalice-type quest thing in um, the trade town. The trade guild. I'm just going to call it trade guild from now on. Where you can send money to Rex's town. I haven't done that yet. But you can send like 10,000 and then like a middle amount and then 90,000. Maybe later when I'm high enough level I will go ahead and farm like all that jazz and then send all the money that I can and see what happens. But that's not going to be until like I'm like level 28. Well, probably level 30 if I want to be completely re realistic because the enemies that you can salvage up there you'll be smarter if you go this way better find another way I didn't know we were being like hunted but why I want to talk to yo friend no okay that's fine that's cool oh, why are we being hunted because I have the Aegis Is that it? Is that all you wanted to talk about? Now I... Oh, okay. Grand, isn't it? If there's one thing Torgoth has over the rest of Gormat is the quality of the trees. So, of course, you'll find better wooden crafts here than anywhere else in the land. All of it handmade, too. Just take some of these beauties in your hand. I can guarantee you'll be smitten. Wow, pretty impressive. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll talk to you, though. Sighal. I mean, we are already drivers. Dot. What? You're already drivers? Even better, you can get rolled immediately. Dots. Okay. It is useful information. I would love to have more blades. Kind of weird that you don't really want to do any more interviewing with me other than just the fact that I'm a, dri a driver. So, you know. I guess anything's good for you. This whole thing with core crystals, touching them to create blades. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. Yeah, it's almost we like it's start out fictional. Formless, anchored to the world only by our core crystal. Only the touch of a potential can imbue us with form and being. And it Kinky. is by those forms we come to be known. So you see, my boy, in some ways it is only the fated touch of a driver that allows the blades to exist at all. Wow. Why does it happen that way, though? Now, that is something no one knows. It's just how it's always been. Blades come in all shapes and sizes. Some human-shaped, some not. Like a big cat? Some people say the shape depends on the kind of person the driver is. The resonance between blade and driver is a mysterious thing. Pyra, she was crying when I met her. Was she? Was she brought to life by someone once? Just like a normal blade? Well, she was kind of in a Zophar. What is the Aegis? Really? Halt! Nobody move! Oh, okay, Cornhead. Oh dear. Looks like 
Imperial Naya, troops. girl. Great. Or Nia, whatever. Hey, what's going on? That fugitive in your company is an enemy of the state, a member of Torna. Nia? A member of Torna? What's Torna? It's her, all right. Gormothy Driver, White Beast Form Blade. She looks exactly like the wanted poster. Oh, that's what the red button. Poster? Don't press the red button. See for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it really does. Oh, oh Rex, don't, don't do it. it. Uh, I mean, no way. This doesn't look anything like. Wait, we've got no time for this. Who cares if it looks just like her? <laughs> <laughs> now, as for you, you look like a driver, too. Registration number? Oh, that's going to be iffy. Five, three, nine? Knock it off, you fool. All new drivers must register with Endor. No number means you must be an illegal, unregistered driver. No, you don't get it. You're coming with me. We'll see what the console has to say about this. Um, that. no. Rex, Dromak and I are going to make a move. Get ready to We run. could just kill them. We're not leaving without you. This is our problem, not yours. I'm pretty sure he wants to arrest all of us. So this is my problem, too. Sheesh, you're a stubborn one, in you? Understatement. Gramp says the same thing. Okay, we go on three. We'll go left, you go right. Okay. Just get the word. Okay, let's do this. You, you, you're going to resist? Seriously? Yeah. One, two. All, all right, men. We've got them outnumbered. Move in and take them down. Three. Oh, we are going to fight. I thought we were going to run. I'm fine with fighting. I'm good at fighting. Some say Let's it's the only thing I'm play. actually good at. We can do it's this time together. for me to tell you about cancel, uh, about, uh, cancel attacks. If you execute an art at the precise moment that an art attack connects, a ring of light will appear around you. The ring of light tells you that your cancel attack has been successful. A successful cancel attack will be executed when an art executes normally or executed normally. Also, the recharge gauge will fill up faster afterwards, so you can really get an advantage after using an attack uh, using a cancel attack. The effect of a cancel attack will increase with the stage of the auto attack. So try to execute it on the third blow to get the most bang for your buck. Okay. You're going Don't forget me! Think you can take me! You're I think the two that's next to us are like special. That cancel? That was a cancel. Oh, thank you for all of this healing. Don't forget me! Don't forget me! Thank you can take me! Wait for the third one. Don't forget me! I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna hit everything? Oh, I fucked it! Sorry. Pressed it. Oh, we killed them. Where have all this stuff? We did not beat them with the power of friendship. We beat them with the power of a sword. Don't forget me! Thank you can take me! Let us make use of it now. Sure. Don't forget me! Oh, got him. Got all that jazz. Power of friendship. There's the power of the fire blade. Or whatever it's called. So strong. Nah, that wasn't that bad. Rex, no! You got it! I mean, you knew we were drivers? A wall made of fire. Hey, hey, hey Pyre, can you do something about that? Such a commotion. Hey, girl. Just when I thought I could enjoy a little peace and quiet. You are a blade, right? Oh, lady. You kind of look like a blade. Is she a blade? What? Where, where's her driver? My driver is otherwise engaged at present. I am here alone. No driver? <laughs> lady Bridget is the jewel of Morrison. The strongest blade in the empire. I like Even to test that. She's more than a match for you. Like, Maybe really? Is this like a gun? I'm gonna lose fight, or you just bluff it? She looks badass. Your power to bring them to justice. That emerald core crystal. 
Could it really be true? Well done. Captain Padre, you are not to kill them. Take these ones in alive. Roger. Men, bring the Uno Walker! No, man, don't bring the Uno what? I gotta fight these two? Show them a thing or three. I can take care of myself. There we go. Using focus. Yeah, everyone focus Don't fire. It's okay. Thanks for that. Didn't we just kill this guy? Stop saying you're done, you dick. You're done. Wait for the third one. That works. I wonder if cancel attack works with the um, the super move. Maybe. We'll beat them with the power of friendship. Talk about power of friendship. Oh, that was a mess. That was a messy one. That's gotcha. tutorial. May you may have got the gist of your, uh, for yourself already, but let me go into a little more detail about blade combos. The indicator, uh, the indicator the arrow is pointing at right now represents a combo request from a blade currently engaged by the character you're controlling. This is displayed when one of your currently engaged blades' specials would be able to initiate a combo. And also when one of those blade specials would be able to extend a blade combo that's currently in progress. Blade combos have a massive impact on the blade battlefield, so try not to miss these opportunities. Dope. I want this, thank you. I want to attack you from behind too, sorry. Get back here. Wait for it. Damn it! Oh, you blocked it! That's fine. I don't. I don't. I don't need your 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 freaking charity. I want to try the cancel attack on uh, this one. But I messed it up. Gotcha. Give me that, thank you. That actually did a lot of damage. Okay, wait for the next attack. It does! Oh, I fucked it up though. Why am I always bad at those? <laughs> Every Xenoblade game I play, I am just bad at those. You'd figure after the first two, I probably would have learned. Can we run now? What? She she repelled our attack. Technically, we repelled hers. Strong. And this is without a driver. Stop yammering! Just get it! Is that a net? Uh, yeah, no, those are like nets. Jomak! This is an ethernet! <laughs> Let's see you use your precious arts when you can't draw ether from the atmosphere. I mean, you we missed two of us. Weaknesses. This is one such weakness. Without the flow of ether, blades are quite useless. Nia, drop so up. that's how we defeat Get you. Get out of you, Rex. Save yourself. I'm not gonna do that. I can't just leave you here. You've got your own mission. Just move it. Yeah, but no bets. Go. Rex, we must withdraw for now. It's our only chance. Yeah, but, but I don't want to lose a party member. You won't. Also, she has accessories on her that I want. Uh -huh. ah. Ricks! Ugh! Damn it! Huh? <laughs> Is that water? Water! Yeah! Oh, that's probably not good for you, huh? No! But she's fire! 
She's fine. Isn't that just gonna help her? Yes. Are we just gonna leave those two? We just left those two. That's right, Rex. Run and never look back. Oh, now I feel bad. Despite all this water. So the legends of the Aegis were real. Tora, you just hear him? Time for explain. I'm assuming Thanks. we're gonna go back for Nia, Save right? This. But I gotta ask, why? No reason. No reason. That's a bad reason. Sorry, that not true. Truth is, Tora not like those big bully soldiers. Was thinking to test out shiny new boom biter on big bullies. That's when Tora see friends running from them. Boom biter missed and hit water pipe. But results not so bad, hey? Oh. So you shot the pipe. You shot that a right? pipe? I thought the thing exploded into and water. Tora. I'm Rex. And this is Pyra. It's so lovely to meet you. Good to meeting. <laughs> huh? Oh, actually, Tora have other reason for save you. Which is? Don't worry. Explain everything when get to House of Tora. Where are we now? This way. That sounded like a Mario RPG something like theme. Party formation has changed, sadly. Hey, we almost have as much HP as uh, Malos and Jin now. All right, so we gotta go down. Can we come out here? No. That's a shame. It looks like we'll just have to figure out what's downstairs next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one yet on my video section, check out some other content and see if it's for your liking. Once again, thank you for watching, y'all. Have a great day.